Hi, cutie. Whenever I film, he'll just like sit here <laughs> in front of the door. You don't want to show them your ears? N no? No? You oh yeah, look, look. No, no, you stay right there. the most precious beautiful in the world okay early morning we're trying out this they're calling it roti paratha i think it should just be called roti i feel like uh but i tried doing like my chinese version with a scallion pancake so i did this one with egg like folded an egg into it still very good it's much thinner so in a way you feel like better about it but the scallion flavor is not as intense as like the Chinese ones, which also fine. So, I mean, it's supposed to be paired with other things like curries and etc. So, I mean, I like it. I would get it again. The grocery I had gone to just was not the one I usually go to where I have the one that I like. And I was just going through all of them. I couldn't find anyone that like, because I like the cheapy ones, like the ones that are like fluffy and they have like lots of like flaky, whatever. No, I don't want that. I like like these really thin ones. The only time I like the like thicker ones is when like, you know, street food, if I'm getting them fresh. And we have our Old Town coffee as usual. All right guys, so I really wanted to come on here and, <sighs> sounds so desperate, I really wanted to come on here. I wanted to share my favorite tinted SPFs with you because I've been promising this for a while. I've already swatched all of them on here so I can explain to you the tone difference because that is a major factor in which ones I use because you want it to match, right? So my first one and probably my favorite one the first two I'm going to talk about are my favorite because they match me the best and this is the Obagi Medical Physical Defense 50 Broad Spectrum Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 PA 4 pluses it is warm toned and it's glowy and it's beautiful I squeeze it into a cushion because it's very liquidy but it looks so pretty on the skin. If you are oily, maybe you won't like this because it's a very glowy. If you want to look like you have really healthy skin, like you just might have steamed your face and applied some sun. So that's like number one slash number two. This one is also number one slash number two, and it's the Michelle Sun Protection Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50 Broad Spectrum, and this is in the shade Nude. There's two shades. Uh, hopefully between the two, maybe you'll either be able to use one or the other or like a combination of the two. It's not particularly expensive. I think it's under 25. I had discovered this in a Walmart video that I did and it has since been released or it's now carried at Ulta. This which is a very matte to natural looking finish on the skin. And the only flaw for me is the glass bottle like i definitely shattered this once already and i repurchased because i really like it so these two match me the best they don't go pink they don't go beige they don't look too light on me and that's why i like these the most all of the formulas i'm going to share with you though are ones that don't break me out because i find that often i find a lot of sunscreens that people like i don't like like the coats tinted don't like felt like it broke me out the Elta MD tinted. I didn't dislike it that much, but I don't like the way my skin felt when I wore it. And over time, like after a few days, I was just like, you know how like sometimes you just think you and that product aren't gonna get along anymore. Like you can try, but it's not gonna work out. That's kind of how I felt. The next one I'm going to share with you is the PCA Skin Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This goes hand in hand with the Sheer Tint Eye. The Sheer Tint Eye works out great for me. I like the tone of this, I like the way it feels and everything. Under the eyes, it's great for sun protection. The one for the face, however, is too dark for me. If you are like medium tone and up, you might really like this because it really warms up the skin a lot. So even at my darkest, like if I were to get really tan, I still think this is gonna be too dark for me, but I love the formula. And I feel like you would get like a really like pretty amount of coverage. Like it's not too much, it's not too little, it's a little glowy, uh, but it's really pretty and I have a swatch of it for you soon. Next one is from Hydro Peptide. It's the Solar Defense Tinted SPF 30. I shared this with you, I think, in a skin store video, 
possibly. A few of these are available on there. I'm just gonna try and link every retailer that I can find that would carry any of these so that you have options. So this one feels more like a skincare type product. The initial color is white. It changes. I don't want to say it adjusts to your skin because it absolutely doesn't. Um, on me, it is very, very peach, like light salmon. So while I like the formula and it feels really nice on the skin, doesn't break me out or anything, the color is just off for me. The next one is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Tinted. This one, very watery, very liquidy. You have to like shake it up. And I like this one a lot. I think it was recommended by one of you guys. So again, love the formula, but it just looks slightly, ever so slightly orange on me and you'll see in the swatch. Lastly is the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor SPF 50 Plus. And this is kind of in between for me because it's meant to kind of be a primer. I can get away with it much more if I just want some sun protection because it definitely is beige on me so it's not pink or, or peach or too dark it's just kind of beige which translates to kind of gray and light on my skin but not in like a pretty way uh so this is something that can be mixed because it, it's just it's that kind of a consistency and texture where it works that way okay so the first one that's super glowy that's the obaji I like, I'm not kidding you when I tell you it's like really glowy and really pretty. The second one is the My Shell. That finish is beautiful, yeah? So, so good. This third one is the PCA. So you can see that it's like orange on me. It has a really beautiful finish. Like I really enjoy this. If only they maybe would make a larger variation of shades available, I would totally get this like in my shade. This is the hydropeptide. You can see it's like a, a light salmon color. I know it's pronounced salmon, but that's what we have there. This one is the La Roche-Posay. This one could work, but on me, it just looks dark. And when I have it on my entire face, it's not like a warm sun kiss thing. It's a, it's a very like dark thing, like where my neck doesn't match my face. But I think if I were dark enough, if I got like a good enough tan, this might work for me. And lastly, this kind of like grayish white band, <laughs> that is the It Cosmetics. It has a really good finish. It's not shiny. It's actually quite a, like a matte formula, but it's just, do you see how it's just kind of gray slash white on me? So that doesn't look good on me. So I could probably use it with a foundation that's slightly too dark or slightly too warm, but you know, who has time for that? And so again, I hope that was helpful. The swatches have been sitting on my hand for 10 minutes. I've been filming for like, well, I've been filming for 11 minutes-ish. So these have definitely been on my hand for like 12 to 13 minutes. So those are the colors that they would actually change to and settle as once they've been applied to the skin. So I hope that gives you a very good idea of which one might work for you. Um, again, I like and slash love most of these formulas. It's just really a matter of the tint color and how it settles onto the face. I am like rambling and repeating myself. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I will see you tomorrow. This is more warm. However, want to look like you have really healthy skin like you just might have steamed your face and applied some 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 some